Hi, my name is Ritesh Patel. I'm the Chief Digital Officer for Ogilvy Health, and this is my 2020. Professionally, it really hasn't made much of a change. The only thing is we've got new tools and technologies we use. So where we used to bring people together, I used to fly off onto distant lands. I now use Zoom and Miro. There's no commute now. So I don't have to get up at six, catch up on emails, get ready at seven, get the 745 bus to New York, walk up to the chocolate factory and get to my desk by 9.15. On the personal side, it's been actually wonderful. I'm cooking a lot, getting to know the family, because I was never home. I was only on a plane with clients. On the personal side, it is a bit of a worry. My wife is an asthmatic, so when this first hit, she has the ultimate comorbidity that if anything would happen, she would suffer. You know, little things that you never think about, like running to the supermarket to get milk, became a traumatic event. March, April, May, June, I would say, on the personal side, a bit of stress and strain in the family, but I think we've now sort of got over it and it's, it's a shame it's become our new normal. This has been an interesting year. I would say it will absolutely go down in history for a number of things. Uh, from a global perspective and also from the US perspective. On the global side, I was amazed at how quickly the Black Lives Matter movement took off. It was a localized event in Minnesota that sort of galvanized folks. The amount of interest there is in healthcare, how many people who are my friends now are very, very, very sharp about what goes in creating a vaccine, clinical trials. I used to have to explain phase one and to phase four, and now they're telling me. I think those are great things that have happened. Um, but, you know, I'm also saddened that it took things like this for us to realize the inequalities in our societies around the world. Four things have happened. One, uh, if you're a pharma company, you've got to look at new ways of engaging with the customer because the customer currently is wearing full PPE and is behind closed doors looking after ICUs that are filled. The second model is how do we get chronic patients back into the hospital? You know, while all of this is going on and lockdowns are occurring, there are people suffering from diseases that they need weekly checkups, that they need their weekly courses of whatever. So it's been really good to see some new companies come out of the woodwork to try and address that issue. And then the third area is all the newcomers that have come in around COVID itself. And then we're seeing people who are existing device manufacturers pivoting to come up with ways that we can do things like remote temperature checking. So we're seeing an explosion of how do we enable businesses to get back into the fray. virtual working whenever you wish. So, you know, if you want to stay at home and work from home for the next six months, go for it. If you want a hybrid model, you know, you want to come into work, but only work two days a week in the office. If it's configured properly, go for it. Got the house completely redone, the deck redone, uh, which I, you know, I was never here. I was on a plane somewhere to some client in some distant part of the world. And I've learned to multitask and cook up some mean dishes. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see them all, because that's all you see on my feed is the food I made today. The innovation continues and takes a pace a little faster. We've shown with these kinds of technologies that we can change the way we deliver care for people, the way we engage with people, how we can make a difference in people's lives with little things like checking in in the morning using a Zoom conference call, uh, I think should be, you know, continue. The clients that I work with, my message to you is don't abandon it when we get back to normal or what, whatever normal is. Do not go back to the analog world because that's safe. Continue down the world you're doing and exploring the things that we're now doing because we've been forced to do it and build on the ones that are successful and make them grow and make them change the culture of your organization and transform your business. I'm Ritesh Patel and that was my 2020.